Good everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I thought I'd go over my premium collection of what I have in War Thunder. Now most of these I earned, but obviously I'll go over planes first, then tanks in a separate part. So we start out with the US, my first nation that I start out with, if you guys didn't know. And we start out with the, I believe this is the Philippine P26A34 that you could get quite a few, I think it was about two years ago you could get this thing. I got it randomly for free, I was not too bothered about it, but until I saw I had to spade it, mind you, but... So it's obviously a P26 with two thirty caliber machine guns, it's nothing special, but... I've had it sat in my hangar for god knows how long, and I haven't took it out since. It only took me about, well it only took me apparently five flights to spade it, but... It was a nice little plane, I got it for free, so I'm not too fussed. I don't even remember how I got it. But I think you had to get three air kills and a single match in our air RB, and I just got gifted this thing. Pretty happy with it. But it's exactly the same as a reserve P26, except it is not the A34 M2 that you might be familiar with. It's not the M2 variant. It comes with a 30 cal and not 150 cal and 130 cal. Next up is obviously the premium that was intended to replace the Thatcher's F2A, Gallas F3F. Now. Uh, from what I could find, this guy actually had to do a forced water landing, I believe it was? Something like that, like um, his tow hook broke, so he couldn't stop on the carrier and he had to land it. And this plane survives to this day, as far as I'm concerned, in a air museum. It's exactly the same as an F3F in a tree. It carries the same payload, same bombs, or sorry, same, same payload and same bombs, it's the exact same thing. Same armament, it turns exactly the same, climbs exactly the same. It's just a premium F3F. It's a nice little plane to get. I did have to spade this one, and it was a lot of fun. Next up is the first premium I ever got. Old Thatcher's F2A1 Buffalo. This thing's been through countless nerfs, buffs, pun intended there. And now it's stuck with the 350 calibers and 130 caliber machine gun. Originally, you only had the nose-mounted guns, which were a single... 12.7 and a single 7.62, also known as 50 and 30 cal, respectively. And this is the first plane that I actually got. This used to be battle rated 1.3, and four years down the line, it's 2.3 with 350 cals. Same performance as when it was first brought in, but Gaijin apparently found information that this thing had an extra 250 cals. I'm not forced. Thatcher's F2A1 is based off of John Thatch, who invented the Thatch Weave, which was used against A6M Zeros by Wildcats, Hellcats, Corsairs, and other planes that were encountered during the war. It was a very effective method, and well, the man's famous, and here's his plane that he used. He used the F2A1 to do it. Next one is the most recent addition to the premium collection in USA. The KI-43-2. Now, most people would probably think, why would I buy this when I could just get it in a Japanese tree? Very true. But, um, I got a 50 cent discount on it. I had some Golden Eagles lying around and I thought, might as well get it. It's a cheap premium. It only cost me about £2.50 something. I haven't flown it yet, but if it flies exactly the same as the KI-43-2 in the Japanese tree, I'm going to love it. Now we're to Germany. And we start out with the Fliegels BF 109A. Dave Schillinger will like this one. Sarcasm. This is the 1109 other than the K4 that I seem to can't, well I just can't tame it. Now what I mean by tame is I just can't control it. I can't get it to do well. I don't know why but I just can't make this thing work. And if we look at my stats in it, I've got to find it now because I've flown a lot of German aircraft. But um, it's just one of those planes where I don't know why, but I just cannot fly it very well. I mean, I, I've got a five to one kill death ratio with a single AA gun on my air, on um, my stat card. But the plane did not feel nice to fly at all. I had to fly it very, very differently to how I normally would have won a nine, because this thing lacks in climb, it lacks in turn compared to a BF109 E series, and the engine's quite. Poor. Now with only a two-bladed prop, that doesn't help either. Still, got it for free, not fussed, I'll take it. And I'll show you the reason why I got 
this for free is because I had the Mark Allen CR42. Well, in fact, though, I tell a lie. Um, I unlocked the BF109A. Oh, no, I bought it because I got given 250 Golden Eagles at around 2018 Christmas, well, no, 2017 Christmas time. I saw that, so it was new. It was a 109, and I thought, yeah, I'll get it. So I do apologize for my slight slip up there, but hey ho. Mark Collins CR42 was flown by the Italian pilot Mark Collins. I don't know his first name, but um, he flew a CR42 biplane. I believe he was an ace, but I believe he survived the war as well. The CR42 is a fa one of my favorite biplanes. It always has been. It's so ma it's very maneuverable. Got good armament. Good speed, good climb rate, good turn rate, good durability. It does everything what a biplane, or what I would want a biplane to do. It's not as maneuverable as the Russian biplanes, but it is very effective. Now we're on to the one that Jane Prawn's going to be all jealous about. <laughs> the Fokker 189A1. I believe this was either the 2016 or the 2017 summer event. I believe it was a 2016 one, if I remember rightly. Might have been a 2017, I can't remember. But this thing is an absolute beast. It looks relatively harmless, but this thing can turn with biplanes in most situations. It is amazingly good in the turn for its size. Um, Russian pilots are actually instructed not to engage this aircraft in turning engagements at all. Only the I-16 and the I-15 Chaika would I just called I-16 a Chaika then it's an Ishak. But um that was the only plane those were the only planes that could really give this thing a run for their money. And even then, you've got some really good defensive armament. It's a fun plane. If you don't have this, do get it when you can. It is amazing. Next up is a plane that I got I believe for free. This is the Oh god, what country is that? <laughs> I think well, I was told this is a Romanian one, but that doesn't look like a Romanian flag to me. If anyone knows what that flag is, please do tell me, because I've got no clue. It looks like a, um, a Czechoslovakian flag, like an early Czechoslovakian flag. But anyway, so the Heinkel 112B1U2 is exactly the same as the Heinkel 112 b zero in the tree I believe it is and it's exactly the same I got it for well in fact I got a discount on this thing it was a 75% discount only cost me about 90 golden eagles I thought why the hell not might as well get it didn't regret it it's a fun little plane love the B zero and I love this one next up is one that I just thought I had to get for the memes the German Wellington Mark 1C now obviously it's Wellington. It's not exactly very useful. But I don't use this thing much anyway. Why have I bought it? Well, I got a discount on it. And I like the Wellington, funnily enough. I do like the Wellingtons, especially the early ones. The later ones, like the Mark 10 and Mark 3, I don't particularly like. But this thing with its good battle rate, and if it gets a down tier, it's going to have a lot of fun. Because it's a reasonably durable aircraft. Well, used to be. <laughs> but people don't expect this thing and then they'll attack it from the rear think oh it's just a wellington it's easy to kill and they'll get shredded by it it's a lot of fun and you can use the turrets to gunship next up is a plane I I don't think I've only flown this thing a couple of times the German IL-2 it's exactly the same as a regular German or uh, Russian IL-2 in a tree it's just this cannot carry rockets and it cannot carry internal bombs except for the 450 kilogram option. This carries two 250s on the outside and I believe 450s on the internal bomb bays. Yes, it is. But you don't get rockets. And obviously, since it's an early IL 2, you don't get a tail gunner. However, I did see on a. I think it was an IL 2 Sturmovic video where this thing actually how you had this part of the fuselage cut out, the fuel tank removed, and you'd have a sling with a single 12.7 at the back. That would be amazing to add, but that's just my opinion. Overall, I don't know why I bought this thing, but eh, it's something. Now we're on to my old arcade love when I was grinding Germany for the first time. 
the German Yacht 1B. An absolutely amazing plane. Because people don't expect it. People honestly don't expect it. They think, oh, well, the Germans have a Yak. And I remember when I saw a Reddit post that people wanted to change this variant to the regular Yak 1. But they couldn't find any historical documents of a Yak 1 being captured. They could only find Yak 1B, so it's remained like that ever since. But this plane's been so useful to me. Dark Angel, actually, you may see his uh, squad down there. Dark Angel actually was flying the BF-110 and he wanted me to join him. So I was like, okay, I'll bring out this thing. Did pretty well, got three kills, but as usual, airfield campers. But this thing's a lot of fun. If you don't have this thing, please pick it up. It is amazing. And now we're onto my only USSR premium for TB3. <laughs> Yes, the TB3 is my only one. If something pops up during a sale, might get it, but don't count on it. There's nothing really in the Russian aircraft tree that really interests me. Might consider the Hampton, but even so. Either the Hampton, the P40, or the Hurricane, I'd probably go for at the Russian premiums. Maybe even the P39 or P63, but anything else just doesn't really interest me. The MiG-15 is just a pay to win plane because you could just get straight to top tier. But hey, it's better than nothing. Britain, I only have the Martlet from the Operation Summer event from 2018. Didn't take me long to grind this thing, but I actually was so close to not being able to get these vehicles. Because during that time, I had multiple friends' birthdays coming up. I had multiple days out planned with my family. And um, I didn't, and obviously I had my own birthday coming up at that time. And I thought, I'm not going to be able to grind this thing. I'll only be able to get the Martlet, but not the FJ4B. I do have the FJ4B, that is in my USA. I will show that at the end. But th I didn't think I was going to get this, these planes, but I did, luckily. I got the FJ4B on two of my friends' birthdays. I literally finished the grind and then went to my friends because their party was in like half an hour. That's how close it was to not be able to go get the plane in time. Because obviously on the 5th I was busy because that's my actual birthday. Um, Japan, I don't have anything. Italy, I only have Mark Holland CL42. You've seen that in Germany. And my only French premium is Pallier's D510. You got this for free during Christmas when French tanks were released. And you also had the H39 Cambrone. I got the H39 Cambrone. But um, this thing's amazing for 1.3. It's basically a D501 with WEP and it's so fun. The 20mm works wonders. The 7.5s work alright. It's reasonably maneuverable to say it's a monoplane and it's just a lot of fun. It's a cheap premium as well, 250 Golden Eagles, but me being a cheapskate, I got it for free. As well as Cambrone, which you will see in the French tanks premium. Um, what's the word? Premium overview, shall we say? But yeah, that's all my um, that's all my aircraft premiums. I don't have as many tanks, just to warn you. So the next video will probably be a bit shorter because I don't have many tanks. But um, yeah, so hope you enjoyed today's little video about seeing my premium collection of planes, and the next one will be on tanks. So thank you all for, for watching today's video and I will catch you all on the next one.